Well, the last time you saw this machine, we had it turned on and was taking a little tour of Windows XP on it. But now it has come time to take it apart. Unfortunately, it is a cool machine, but you can't keep everything. On the front, we're going to start by taking off the plastic front panel here. And to do that, we of course need to take off the side panel, which do it correctly, unlike how I did it by pulling on this, because then this happens, it comes out, and use the handle here on the side to actually take the thing off. So I'll set the side panel aside, and let's take a look here. There's two clips on the bottom and one on either side here and there's also some at the top as well. And I'm going to actually take the camera here and put it on the tripod like so so that you can watch what I am doing. Now, if I remember correctly yeah, the top isn't held in with clips anymore because, well, they were broken off, I'm guessing, a long time ago. But um, here we have the front panel. It is. It has been cleaned. I cleaned it up when I received the machine, and boy, was it dirty. So, um, let me bring the lamp over here because I'd like to share with you the front so we can... Take a look at that. I'm sorry if I was covering up the microphone there, but you can see just how uh, kind of rusty it is here, and especially down here in the ventilation area and these USB ports. They're just done. But surprisingly, they still take data and transfer it for what it's worth, I guess. So, I'll put the camera back on the tripod again, move the lamp back up. And let's tip the computer over. I want to make sure I didn't hit anything on the other side there. Let me bring the camera up more here so that you can get an even better look of what is going on. So, here we have the machine itself. I suppose we'll start by taking out these drives. So I'll go ahead and do that. So here's a closer look of the hard drive. We can see it does have, well, is that an, uh, I believe HP did very similar stickers like this. So they must have got the idea from Compaq, these little stickers that they put on almost everything, or literally everything. But there's the original hard drive. Very cool. So we'll set those devices aside. I suppose now I'll go ahead and take out the memory, and the power supply. So, let's do that. I suppose I could have taken out these ribbon cables before taking out the memory. Too bad this floor is so squeaky. I'm sorry about that. Oh. Looks like I'm going to need a different screwdriver. I'll be back. So, I now have the correct screwdriver, and we will now take out the power supply. And now we have the power supply out. And I've taken it out before, of course, to try and fix this fan, but nothing I did would ever make it less uh, noisy or more quiet, however you'd like to say it, I guess. This floor is very annoying, but let's go ahead and unplug this case fan here. It looks like it's held on with just some Phillips screws, so I'll go ahead and take those out. And I think it's out. 
and it looks like it made a very big mess on the table. So let's move this out of here and it did make a big mess. This is exactly why you have a shop vac. So let me go ahead and clean this up. All cleaned up. So I will now bring the machine back or what's left of it I guess. And let's see. We'll take off the connectors for the front panel here. We also have a brand new battery which I installed a year ago but that's okay it can be used in a different machine that needs it. So we'll take the screw out down here just a little screw that holds all the um, shields in place as you can see and we'll take out our modem that was maybe used at one point in time there it goes I don't know I bet it's worth absolutely nothing but we'll set it over there along with our parts and I suppose it has now come time to take the motherboard out so let's go ahead and do that So, I believe we've taken out all the screws, there's probably, I don't know, it feels like there's still one somewhere, I wonder why it won't come out. Take off the... Well, I don't really know how it comes off, really. Which is probably too sad. But, it does feel like one of the screws that is holding on the heat sink is holding on everything else. Seems like this should swing open and I'm sure somebody out there watching right now is like you open it this way but unfortunately I can't hear you well I got that off and boy that is dirty so I'll set that aside with the other fan and um, there's our heat sink boy is that a weird design look at that thing I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean it off here so we don't get anything else dirty and I'll be back Okay, so I cleaned off this very bizarre looking heat sink. Very cool. It might be just a neat thing to hang on to because what a unique design. I mean, really. So I'll set that aside down on the floor there. And now we can see the CPU. But before we get to that, I'm still very curious on what is holding this thing down. So let's go ahead and take out these screws holding in this retainer here. That sounded nice. Very weird. Well, I'm going to investigate and I'll be back once I've figured out what's holding us up. Okay, so I took out the screws around the CPU here and you can see I also took out the CPU because for some reason I thought there was a screw underneath there because I took out all these screws and it still wouldn't come out. So I had no idea. I, I, wouldn't, I don't know why there would be a screw in here. It doesn't make any sense, but uh, I tried it. And obviously there wasn't a screw there. But I have gotten it out. And I can't say I've really seen this done like this, but it mounts just right on to the board there very very weird you can see there are standoffs for it however just can't say I've seen that before so I'm gonna say or not say I'm gonna put the motherboard aside here and we're pretty much done with this it's now basically just a case so I'm going to set that aside get it out of our way 
and we'll take a look here at the motherboard. So obviously we had our Pentium 4 processor here. We had where our disk and um, DVD and CD drives. We had our floppy, our power. Of course all that stuff that you probably already know about. Our ports. And the back is actually pretty nice. It's not really dirty at all. So, there's that. And, oh yes, of course, the CPU. Now, I know you're not really supposed to do that. However, if I do use it again, and I will keep the CPU, I will definitely clean it with the appropriate um, cleaning materials. There's a hole in it. I probably just ruined it by putting that stuff in there. That's too bad. Or maybe I didn't ruin it. I don't know. But that's weird. Can't say I've seen a hole in a CPU like that before. But what I'd like to do is at least clean it off enough so that we can read it. So you can see we have Intel Pentium 4. It says Costa Rica on it and 1.9 gigahertz. Very cool. If anybody knows what this hole's for down here, I'd be interested. That's uh, piquing my curiosity. Very nice processor. Set that over here with my other ones that I'm sure you've seen sitting around right over here from other machines that I've taken apart. So, basically, let's see what we got out of this machine. We ended up getting some screws that we can use on various other devices. We got a motherboard, which probably, unfortunately, will get recycled appropriately. Uh, thankfully, here in this town, we do have a place to recycle electronics. Did get a nice stick of 1 gigabyte RAM, along with the original 256. We got the 60 gigabyte hard drive, Western Digital, and our very rusty floppy drive, Samsung it says on it, and our light on CD drive, which I'm trying to see, yep, it's original 202, September 2002. It's a CD read write drive. Wow. Yep, and it all has the original stuff on it. This one says DVD on it. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it does read DVDs, but it only reads and writes CDs. I don't know. Whatever. And there is our disk drive. Of course, we ended up getting some cables as well. And the modem and the power supply, which is out of reach and is actually quite sad. Anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this video of taking apart the Compaq Presario 6000. It was a cool computer, but unfortunately it had some problems with it. And I couldn't really show you those um, on camera when I demonstrated the machine, because they didn't happen, which was actually amazing for this thing. But Everything will be reused and recycled appropriately. Anyway, I really do, again, hope you enjoyed this video, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.